Hey guys, Tom with BuyMeAnIPhone.com back at you today, and yes, we are looking at a coffee pot. Now I know this is not going to be a tech review in the true sense of tech, but I've got to tell you, this coffee pot has some brains to it. So I've been using this for about a month or so. I received it as a gift for my birthday, and I wanted to kind of bring you guys what I thought is a, a great product. In our industry, we tend to trash bad products, so I wanted to make sure that we praise good ones. So this is the Keurig B70 Platinum Series. Okay, It retails for $179 on uh, Amazon and a bunch of other websites. But you can really get it at Bed Bath & Beyond if you just sign up for their mailing list. You get a 20% off uh, coupon and uh, you'll be able to get it for like $159. So <clears throat> let's go through all the uh, kind of specs here. So first what we need to do is we need to turn this bad boy on. There's a little switch back here. Okay. And uh, it'll start heating up. The LCD screen goes on. As you can see, there's this humongous reservoir here. I mean, it's, I'm not sure, it holds over 60 ounces. I'm pretty sure it's 60 ounces. I don't even know about that. But you've got this humongous rev reservoir here. And you can either fill this by just dumping in some water, which I tend to do, or you can take this whole reservoir off, go fill it up, and uh, you'll be able to kind of come back and put it back on. Let's see if I could do this with one hand. There we go. So as you can see inside the reservoir, guys, while we're waiting for the Keurig to heat up, you've got this little bobber here. And that bobber will tell you when it's time to add more water. So it'll say on the, on the uh, LCD screen, add more water. So while we're waiting for the uh, Keurig to heat up, as you can see, you turn it on and it'll start heating the water. And we've got a couple of different buttons here and we've got a couple of different presets. So we're gonna go into the menu on the LCD screen. It's not a touch screen, but it is an LCD screen. And we've got the time. So we can set the clock there by uh, putting the buttons up and down for time. Then we can go to auto off. Now I've got my auto off set for two hours. So it will go off after two hours of inactivity. We've got our on off time. I've got my on time set to 7.08 a.m. So it'll automatically be heated up. So when you get up in the morning, you don't have to wait for this heat up process. It'll already be ready to go. We've got our off time, which is 10.01 a.m. We've got our brew temperature. We're, we've got our brew temperature set at 192 degrees and the range goes from 187 degrees to 192 degrees. And we've got our brew size, <clears throat> excuse me, we've got our brew size. I've got it set to the largest size. There are five different brew sizes and it goes from extra small, 3.25 ounces, small, 5.25 ounces, small mug, 7.25 ounces, a large mug at 9.25 ounces or a travel mug at 11.25 serving ounces. So now that we've got all the details out of the way, okay, so we'll get that back to our menu. So that's what it'll say when we're ready to brew. So we are ready to brew. Okay, so what we're gonna do is uh, we've got our drip tray in here. And if you've got a really large mug or a travel mug or something using the car, you can take that off, get a big one in there. Or we've got the uh, tray there. So we're gonna put our coffee mug under there. That fits in nicely. And then we're gonna pick a K cup out of our uh, kind of stash here. So we're gonna use Barista Prima Coffee House French Roast. So what we do is we open this up and we've got two pins in here. We've got one pin right here and we've got another pin way up here. So what we do is we pop our K-cup in there. We close it. It'll puncture that K-cup in both the top and the bottom. Okay? And then we press our brew button and then it will start brewing so it takes a couple i wouldn't say a couple minutes it probably takes about 30 seconds to brew this cup of coffee it'll start shooting the water in as you can see the water level in the reservoir is going down a little bit it is brewing our cup of coffee and let's kind of see what we got in there it is getting up to level And guys, I love this coffee pot because I work from home, so I don't drink a whole pot of coffee. I usually drink a cup in the morning and a cup after lunch. So instead of having a pot of coffee like sitting around, um, 
it's just easier to brew one at a time and it's really easy to grab a cup as you're run, running out the door you don't have to do all the filter stuff and you know get the pot going if i want one running out the door it's really easy to make one cup so guys there we have it there is our cup of french roast and it is really hot so if you're going to put this in like a travel mug that is aluminum or something you're going to have to wait a couple minutes before you drink it so i like it hot and then it stays hot for a long period of time so in the end guys this is the keurig b70 platinum edition uh, i really love this machine and uh, if you guys have any questions shoot me an email it's tom mosha t-o-m-m-o-c-c-i-a at buymeaniphone.com you can always follow us on twitter it's twitter.com slash buy me an iphone if you want to follow me personally it's twitter.com slash nerf squeezer i should say when you're done okay i wouldn't take this out right away because it could be be hot so please be careful and then you just trash it like that again guys thanks for watching i really appreciate your support remember tell the ones you love you love them today and until the next video you guys have a great day